Apostles meet in room four. Uh, also during lunch, Bria and Kayla will be counting uh, whoever participated in facial hair. You can have both fake hair and authentic hair as well, and we'll count too. So. <laughs> okay, all right. Going on to JSA. As, you, as many of you have known since the last meeting, uh, we still need to pay taxes and we're prepping for Fall State. If you want to go to Fall State, come to us to see about the check and we'll let you know the information that's needed for that. Also, any JSA members who haven't paid their taxes, $5 by tomorrow. If not, I will find you and make you pay your taxes. So, do that. First of all, thank you to everyone who participated in Episcopal School Sunday yesterday. Uh, several of you. and We appreciate it. It was a very nice event. Uh, secondly, tomorrow, choir, we will be rehearsing up on the parking lot by the stairs going up to Lower Field for Red and Black Week. So make sure you dress warmly. Third, I lost, I, I didn't lose, I found some money. So if you lost some money, you can tell me how much it was and where you think I might have found it and what denominations it was. I'll give it back to you, otherwise I'll donate it to the scholarship fund. Third, there's this magazine called 57 Degrees, you turn over it says 65 Degrees, and amongst all the interesting things that they say is a stunning picture of our very own Devin looking very cool. <laughs> happens in my office, it's also a little writer about it, another picture with a York School sign behind him. Uh, you can come and read it in my office. Uh, one last thing. Uh, Students who belong in, to music groups in, at York School can audition for honor groups where they audition for either county-wide, region-wide, or state-wide ensembles. And I'm delighted to tell you that Natasha Noguera was accepted into the Regional Honor Choir. Mondays and Fridays I have room for one more student, so if you are interested in doing that during health and fitness, please talk to me. It goes until 4 o'clock, though, is when we get back to your school. Second announcement, for your service learning from last year, if you are currently in the 10th, 11th, or 12th grade, if you did not do the demonstration part of your service learning and you would like to do um, share in your PATH group, Please speak to your PATH teacher and ask if that's okay to do tomorrow during PATH or the next cycle to get that taken care of and then let me know once that's done. And my third announcement is October 27th is called Make a Difference Day. It's a Saturday and I'm going to start posting lots of different activities that are, are available that day on the service board. Um, the first one is a uh, National Lands Public Day event at Ford Ord to help clean up some trails and pull some weeds and things out at the Ford Ord land. Thanks. I wanted to acknowledge some people, uh, thank some people um, for fall fair success. Um, thank you, God, for the great weather. <laughs> um, seriously, it was, a, it was a real communal effort, and I can't thank everybody because everybody contributed. But uh, uh, the um, Tom Sanchez and, and Mark Kirkland uh, did a lot of stuff behind the scenes. You know, it was, it was brutal, the days leading up to and the cleanup, and, and, and thank you guys a lot. Um, Executive Student Council, you guys uh, really cared this year, and it showed. Uh, thanks so much for, for putting out. Um, Ms. Seneco, Ms. Brown, Business Office. Business Office does a lot of stuff, and, they, and they're rarely in the spotlight. Um, Vicki Norman, Fauna Oldfield, and Deborah Alexander, um, thank them whenever you see them, because they still got a lot of work to do to make sure that you guys get um, the money where you want it to go. And uh, Mrs. Coley, uh, students, faculty, staff, and parents, everybody put in a lot of time, and um, we raised just under $8,000, which is really good. Um, so, It's a little chaotic. There were a, a one discrepancy that I need to mention. Um, there were there was more cash than tickets at the end of the day, which is probably the you know if you had to have a problem, that's better to have it that way. Um, but somebody probably forgot to turn in their tickets, um, and we got to get to the bottom of that. It's like four hundred dollars, 
so it's going to affect the way that people get compensated. Um, if you found a little stash of tickets after cleaning up, please bring them to me and talk to me. Um, in a week or so, the totals will be posted on the bulletin board. You'll see how much your, your group made, and uh, the way it works is the business office um, pays for expenditures that your club or class might, might want to uh, um, spend. So they don't exactly write you a check, except in certain circumstances. But don't bother them until they've had a, a week or two weeks to get this straightened up. Uh, if you happen to have any scissors, tape, or brushes which came from my classroom, please uh, get them back to me. Um, and uh, look forward to next year. Thanks, you guys. We have a busy and exciting Wednesday coming up. The eighth grade is going to the Exploratorium, and some seniors will be traveling to the Steinbeck Center. And then we're administering uh, two assessments on Wednesday, the 17th. For the ninth grade, um, some of you, half of you are taking the CWRA from 8.30 to 10.30 in the morning. The other half of you are taking the CWRA from 12.30 to 2.30. All the information you need to know about the CWRA is on the York blog. Uh, please visit that tonight or tomorrow night to make sure you know where you need to be, when you need to be there, what you need to bring. Uh, sophomores and juniors, you are taking the PSAT in the gym. Ms. Masson would like you to be there at 745 with your pencils, your calculator, and your student ID. And we'll get you all sorted out once you get there. So please make sure Tuesday night you know where you need to be on Wednesday. Thanks for your attention. Seniors, if any of you are planning on going to the Steinbeck Center for the Smithsonian Symposium on Wednesday, you have to see me today to get your permission slip so you can get it back in it. Thank you. Real quick, I wanted to welcome our first visitors to campus today and I wanted to give a reminder to anyone who's volunteered to host. We're having another host training meeting. If you did not attend on Thursday of last week, tomorrow in the Student Center at lunchtime, you'll meet up with your SHIELD partners. Thanks. Grandparents Day was a huge success. Thank you so much for everyone that participated. I am anticipating those um, pictures to be back in the next couple weeks, and what I do is print them off and mail them with a thank you to your grandparents. So if they're asking for them and they haven't received them around Thanksgiving, please come see me and I will get them to them ASAP. Secondly, the Student Center. I just wanted to point out that that furniture um, that you've seen this year was brought to you, some of it by Starbucks down the street at Delray Oaks, but the rest was brought to you by parents and alums and community donors that care a lot about you. Um, so we would love to see you guys care about that furniture as well. It's not meant to be dumped upside down. Um, one of the swivel chairs was bent in half. Um, just be respectful. It's definitely meant for you for functional space for all of your various activities. So use it, um, but be respectful of it as well. Thanks so much. It is my great pleasure to announce that Health and Fitness will once again be having a dance program. Um, and this, we are so lucky to have our choreographer from the musical, Deanna Ross, to be our dance instructor. And I'm going to turn it over to her so that she can tell you how to sign up and what she's going to be doing and everything else. All right. Welcome. make a bold statement to you and that is that dance is for everybody. You don't have to be a girl to do ballet. You don't have to be extremely skinny to move beautifully. Um, you don't have to be extroverted, a, a rock star personality. You could be shy like me and still uh, perform in a way that moves and inspires audiences. Um, and I really believe that everybody in here is already a choreographer, a, a creator of movement with stories to tell. So in my class, we'll be doing Monday through Friday, um, health and fitness period, and we'll do some body conditioning and some technical warm-up exercises that'll get you sweating. And uh, we'll do some movement across the floor that'll be more complicated sequences that we can work on and build on. And then we'll, I'll have you, I'll be creating exercises where you use your own imagination 
and employing teamwork together, you design your own movement sequences based on your moods, your ideas, your movement styles, and the stories that you guys have to tell. So that's the plan, and I've so enjoyed working with the theater students in uh, Honk and Once on this Island, and I'm really hoping that many of you will come and, and um, take dance with me, and that many others will come and just learn how enjoyable, challenging, and available dance is to all of us. Thank you. I am not exactly your average looking person. My hair has been every color of the rainbow and then some. I like to wear boots and lace and leather. People have and do prejudge me on how I look. Maybe it's the lady at the local coffee shop or an elderly man walking down the street. They give me this look, this certain look that's a mixture between sizing me up and breaking me down. Sometimes they'll confront me. What's with your hair? <laughs> oh, you're one of those weird emo kids, aren't you? I bet your parents just love you. And I laugh, or smile, or counter with some weak remark. They don't really know me. Then again, no one truly knows exactly who I am, though. But it hurts. It hurts when someone has me all packaged and labeled before I even open my mouth to speak. Recently, one of my best friends stated, you're nothing like I thought you would be. You know that? I asked him what he meant. He smiled. When I first thought, saw you, I thought you would be an entirely different person than you turned out to be. That's how it always seems to go. Because of this, I try not to prejudge others like they tend to do to me. Sometimes, I'll see someone out walking, or shopping, or just enjoying the day, and I start to form opinions of them in my mind. She looks stuck up. <laughs> I bet he eats non-stop. How do a lady looks angry and irritable? Then I stop myself. When I start to form an opinion of someone in my mind, I remind myself how deep the simple looks cut. So I smile at everyone, even if I don't know them. Sometimes it takes them by surprise. Sometimes they smile back. And sometimes they'll even stop and say hello. Yes, for Mr. Peters. So, 
Okay, so um, we're going to be leaving early on Tuesday and Thursday, so check in with teachers that you will have last period. Also, home game on Friday against PCS, so everybody should come. It's our last home game. And then also, it's Mrs. Scott's birthday today. <laughs> Today at Catalina, so everyone be up at the events by 2.15 and let your teachers, yeah. <laughs> okay, so chess club today at lunch and Ms. Traxel from 22. We're going to we're gonna be discussing the tournament and we have a whole lot of extra candy left over from fall fair, so if you just want to stop by and munch off the candy, we're, we're fine with that. We have a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> soccer. Um, guys, soccer, if you're interested or if you already played, meet at the flag pole after break. Great information. And remember to sign up on Haiku. Yep, be there. Or Good class.